The Ohio State Buckeyes could have been seeking revenge because of the loss last year to Purdue or because of the loss last weekend to the Wisconsin Badgers. Well, whether it was revenge or redemption that the Buckeyes were seeking, they obtained it with a 49 to nothing victory over the Purdue Boilermakers. The guys came out ready to go and, and uh, Jordan Hall showed great patience on that opening kickoff, letting it kind of spin out of bounds and we got to start the game on the 40. And uh, when you're ready to go and you think you're prepared and all those things and, and then you get to start on the 40 and a couple plays later they had a face mask and before you know it, it's 7 nothing. And uh, you know, our defense took over from there with the shutout, and five or six different guys scored. And talked this week about us, uh, you know, starting off fast. Uh, you know, we felt uh, last week we, uh, you know, started off slow, got behind, and felt this week we needed a change of pace. And I feel we uh, went out, you know, tried to execute, and uh, things went our way. Kicked off going out of bounds, giving us great field position, starts it, um, and we kind of knew that first drive was going to be huge for us. Um, you know, our first time getting back on the field after a loss, there's a lot of emotions and everything, so we just wanted to get things started. Well, after giving up 31 points to the Wisconsin Badgers, the Silver Bullets got back to their staunch defensive ways by only allowing Purdue to produce 47 offensive yards the first half and 118 on the day and four fumbles. To get a shutout against a team that, you know, had a quarterback that loved to run the ball and was able to shut him out uh, from running the ball and try to throw the ball, um, it's just great. Um, not giving up any a field goal would have been bad as well. But we talked about at halftime, we got to keep the foot on the pedal. And I feel like the guys did that. And on LSU's first possession, the Bucks had 60 yards, all running plays, finishing with Boom Hands 10 yard touchdown. Bucks' next possession was a three and out, but Jamel Hines recovered a fumbled punt, and the Bucks drove 39 yards, with Heron scoring his second TD of the game. The Bucks drove 92 yards, and Jordan Hall finished it with a one-yard touchdown run. Dane Sanzenbacher was the go-to guy on the next possession, catching a 56-yard pass from Pryor, followed up by a seven-yard touchdown reception. After an interception by Orion Johnson at the Purdue 41-yard line, Pryor threw a 16 TD strike to Corey Brown, and the Bucks went into halftime up 42 to nothing. Offensively for the Scarlet and Gray, Terrell Pryor found five different targets in the air and on the ground. He finished the day with three touchdowns and 270 yards. Well, up next for the Buckeyes, they hit the road to take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. They return home in two weeks to face the Penn State Nittany Lions. As always, Columbus Wired will have your game preview, so stay tuned. Until next time, I'm Ashley Agnelzi.